Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to more Clanad Yukine's Root. It's the third day of uh, Tomoyo's, Tomoyo's suspension from school, where he's been sneaking in to meet Yukine. And on this particular day, he was asked and invited by Yukine to please come visit, because uh, apparently it's some big deal. So let's go. A model student would obey the rules and stay locked inside their house all day today. But I'm just the kind of student to get suspended in the first place. Here we go. I slide my arms through the sleeves of the uniform and fix my necktie. This is the answer I came up with after reflecting upon yesterday's failure. I will blend in with other students during lunch break. As long as none of the teachers recognize me, there shouldn't be any problem. I glance at the clock. It's about time to go. Lunch break just began a moment ago, and the campus is already overflowing with life. Blending into the crowd, I nonchalantly advance my steps. Even though my suspension has been announced school-wide, there shouldn't be that many people who know both my name and face. Not to mention my current cover, that is, my uniform, should provide a sufficient level of anonymity. <laughs> a guy in my class suddenly appears, piercing through my perfect camouflage with his exceptional observation skill. I dash away in silence before any danger can develop. Maybe I should pay more attention to my surroundings. Slide. I open the door to discover Miyazawa sitting in her seat, looking down. It doesn't take her long to notice my presence. She raises her head to look at me. Ah. Yo, here I am. Hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. She smiles happily as she bows to me. Ohiru gohan. Yeah, sure. Nanika request arimasuka? Omelette rice. Hi. Wakarimashita. She nods, beaming, then then heads toward the portable stove with a frying pan in hand. Wait, it's on the menu now? Hi! She takes out a bag similar to the usual palaf from the cooler box. They must be from the same line of products. After that, she takes out two eggs. Tomoya-san が初めてここに来た時、オムライスと言ってたので、次言われた時作れるようにと用意してました。you should have told me then. But eggs expire quickly. Wouldn't it be a waste if I didn't request it in time? Watch out for your cholesterol level. She grins at me. She's skillfully handling the frying pan and the spatula to make my lunch. Even though the stuffing is just frozen food, the outside is without a doubt her home cooking. It's on a whole different level compared to what I've had the fortune to eat here. A top class meal it is. Hi, できました? The omelette rice is neatly transferred onto a plate and put in front of me. Yep, it's marvelous. I don't have to try it to know that it tastes wonderful. <laughs> you know I will. I scoop up the spoonful of the freshly cooked omelette rice and put it into my mouth. Tomoya-san. Hmm? 
Munch, munch, swallow. What kind of request? My lap? You need me to do it. Okay. That injection spirit ball one? She giggles. I can do any of your spells as long as it's not the embarrassing ones. Her smile freezes. So it's an embarrassing one. How is it compared to the spirit ball spell? Just a little, huh? Or rather, just what on earth does she want me to do? Well, I can't exactly turn you down after you've made me this wonderful lunch. Tell me what I am supposed to do first. I'll answer later. With that said, I return to eating again. My enthusiasm has somewhat eroded, though. And eventually... Thanks for the meal. The meal could only last so long. I've resolved myself enough to take on her request now. Well then, time for the spell. She bows to me, but still can't hide her reddened cheeks. So, what should I do? Eh? For an instant, I feel like every hair on my body is standing on end. I can't help looking around frantically hearing those words from her. Did anyone other than us hear what she just said? Is there any dude hiding under the table like yesterday? I sure hope no one is crouching outside that window. Eh? Ah, you mean an embrace? Hi. She nods to me, blushing. I let out a sigh of relief. What does this spell do? どんなことがあっても自分を見失わず取り乱したりしないでまっすぐ立っていられます頑張れるんですはあお手伝いしてもらっていいでしょうか huh. I just have to embrace you, right? I open my arms wide to answer her. Miyazawa breaks into a smile as she looks at me. She walks step by step to stand before me. Then, just like last time, she rests her head on my shoulder. I slowly close my arms. I hold her gently, but tight, but tightly enough so that, so that not the tiniest bit of warmth escaping from her body could escape. Okay. I do as I'm told. 
My vision is now covered in darkness. For all I know, this warmth in my arms may very well be the only true thing in the world at this moment. I can feel her heartbeat with my entire body. Now I feel embarrassed. I should have learned how to control the speed of my heartbeat. The scent of her silky hair is making me dizzy. Ah, this is indeed embarrassing, but is that all there is to it? From the darkness, her voice takes me by surprise. I was so immersed in her warmth, I f I've forgotten why we're even here. Facing forward, facing forward, facing forward. That should be enough. The silence of the spell is getting to me. How long am I supposed to embrace her? Has it been long enough already? At least, she hasn't shown any sign of wanting me to let go yet. As I slightly pull my head down, I can feel her hair touching my lips. Slowly, I press my lips against her head while praying she doesn't notice. The ticklish sensation, the softness, the pleasant scent. I wonder what those people would do to me if they found me with her like this. This spell could literally cost me my life. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Huh. The bell is ringing indiscriminately, marking the end of lunch break. I slowly loosen my arms, reluctantly letting go of her warmth. Miyazawa? But she doesn't let go of mine. Still resting her head on my shoulder, she refuses to move. Lunchtime is already over. Hi. Don't you have to go back to your classroom? <laughs> Miyazawa? Huh? これから行くところがあるんです。そこには友也さんにもついてきてもらいたくて。それで今日は来てほしいとお願いしました。Where are you going? I will actually save that for next time. So thank you all very much for watching. And ciao for now. Ciao for now.